Yo. Come on. All right, so before we get started with part two, uh, let me just give a shout out to today's sponsor, Lotus Gaming. Lotus Gaming has everything you need from singles, sealed product, supplies such as sleeves or dice, and my personal favorite, the Frozen Kit Kat. You can catch me there on Tuesdays for Universes and Fridays for Cardfight Vanguard. So come by, have some fun. Okay, guys, so today at Alter Ego, we're going to get to meet the man himself, the Green Ranger, the White Ranger, Jason David Frank, but we're just going to say JDF for short. And here he is arriving at the shop. I was so excited in this part. Like, my second grade self was literally just freaking out right now. It was so cool. And here he is on arrival with shop owner Sterling and his assistant. Uh, who apparently is also a head instructor at his dojo. I thought that was pretty neat and cool. And let me tell you, meeting him was such a treat. He was so nice, so polite. You can tell he generally loves what he does. It was definitely worth the wait. I kid you not. So just like any meet and greet, we knew we were going to have to wait uh, quite a while. So while we were waiting, we got people to sign this really cool poster that was made for Jason as a gift. And then figured, since I'm going to be waiting a while, might as well talk to some local fans and see what their memories of Power Rangers were. Actually, a kid during when it premiered. Yeah, yeah exactly, you, exactly. So just talk about that. All that are stuff. you kidding me? First time learning about the Power Rangers and how cool they were was just amazing. And then, yeah, seeing the, the Green Ranger for the first time, how he was evil, and then all of a sudden turned good guy, and the, the little dagger flew, and it was just like, dude, what? Some yeah. of this big giant dragon. And oh I remember, my god. I remember as kids, me and my cousins would always play Power Rangers. Make believe that's all we play. I was <laughs> one of us will be one of the one of the colors. We don't know which one, but we always wear a color. Yeah. <laughs> what was y'all's favorite color? Mine's pink. Mine is still <laughs> my still is forever green. And let me tell you, I know it may not look like it, but there was a lot of people here. Granted, some were also waiting in their vehicles as well until it was their turn. Okay, so I'm here, right? And uh, I see Cobra Kai right now. So Sterling will be taking on four students by himself. We shall see how this goes, and I'll keep on updated. Overall, I'd say everything went pretty smoothly. No complaints at all whatsoever. It was a great event. What was your first memory of Power Rangers? Uh, when I was a little kid, I'd sit and watch it every morning. Um, most of my Christmases had a lot of Power Ranger gifts. Okay. I, got, I remember getting super excited when I was little. I got a Power Ranger rock watch and I was like beyond. I was over the moon. Awesome, awesome. So uh, you've been a lifelong fan? Oh yeah. Yeah? Okay, so what is your price possession when it comes to the Power Ranger stuff? Um, I've, I've got a lot, of, old, uh, a lot of, of my older Mega Force toys still, but you know, I, he's been my favorite Power Ranger, uh, you know, all the way from little to now, and this is my first chance to actually get to meet him. So we're here with another Power Ranger fan over here. Yes, uh, you want to give me a, one of your favorite memories of Power Rangers? My favorite memories of Power Rangers has to be when he was actually first introduced, Tommy. And you know, Rita's like, you know, she's naming all the Rangers blue, and then blue, the pink Ranger, etc. And then she brings out the green Ranger, the evil one, and then it's just his first appearance. It's just so great and iconic, too. I love that he always appears in every single series, too. Right. He tries to. And you got a favorite color, or is it just... Uh... Just the green. I love Tommy, but my favorite is Billy. Just because it's blue. And I, okay. I love blue. Yeah. Okay, all right, man. Well, appreciate your time and all that stuff. Hope yeah, you enjoy it. Appreciate it. Okay, now get ready for this hardcore fan. So uh, what are you going to do with that? I'm going to go get a tattoo of it. Alright, yeah. so are you going to go to the specific shop that you're going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah we, Scarlet we actually Scarlet. go to the guy who did the Green Ranger tattoo for me. Ooh, badass. Yeah. Where are you located? Uh, Scarlet's Web in the uh, Pasadena Deer Park area. It's right off of Spencer. Yep, right past Red Bluff. So you'll go past Red Bluff on Spencer. It's right there. Alright, so you guys are huge uh, Power Rangers fans, obviously. Yeah. Right, right? What's yes. your very first memory you have of the Power Rangers? Honestly, the two of us sitting at home yeah. in our room, because he's my brother. So yeah. we've been doing it since we were little. Gotcha. And who did you play at? Who did you play at? So, I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. obviously. And then I was always the pink ranger. The only thing that was a little weird though, brother and sister, but we didn't care. I love the pink. It's okay. And I had a crush on him and like just everything in my power. And I
And that's pretty much it. Shout out to Alter Ego for hosting this event. And hopefully maybe they'll do more. If you like this type of content, let me know. Bye.